Before I get on with today's video, I want to give a quick mention to Invert Shows UK and the very fast approaching Western Invert Show. Uh, this show will be on Sunday the 22nd of July at Thornberry Leisure Centre, which is in Bristol. Uh, it's £5 for adults, £2 for children, and doors open at 11, close at 4pm, so it's a 5 hours show. And of course at this show there will be loads of inverts for sale, different uh, livestock traders, there will be equipment for sale, and of course, one thing that inverse shows do that's different to any other show, they have actual animal shows there, so there's birds of prey, there's the uh, bug fest uh, show which is fantastic, I enjoyed that at the uh, Northern show. I of course will be there filming this show and if you are interested in coming along please uh, check out the information here to come along and also in the description, at the very top of the description there will be a link to their Facebook page. So please go and check them out and uh, hopefully I will see you at the Western show in July. Hello everyone, it's Trasher Dan here. I hope you're all doing well today. So, today I'm going to be giving you an update on my dead leaf mantis. I have some kind of good news and some also not so good news, but we'll get to that in just a second. So before I get on with today's video, I'd like to just say this very, very quickly. Of course, a huge thank you to those of you that do subscribe to me. If you are not subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss my future uploads. Remember to like and leave a comment and let me know what you think. And of course, I do have a Patreon. If you are someone that would like to support me in my channel, you can do so by checking out the annotation at the end of the video and of course, the link in the description. With that said, let's uh, have a look at what's been going on. So yeah, I have a dead leaf mantis uthica, which is awesome. Now, uh, she laid this about a week ago, give or take, uh, which is you know, very, very awesome. I only managed to capture a little bit of it because I was just about to go out at the time. Um, so I, did, I wasn't able to sort of capture the whole thing. Um, I did feed her after that, which she, she ate the food and was fine. I sort of kept her hydrated and everything like that. However, sadly, she did die. So I don't know how this actually happened, so to speak. Uh, she was fine last week, a little bit wobbly on her legs before I went to Wales for a few days. Um, I made sure to leave her some mealworms with the heads crushed so they couldn't sort of harm her or anything like that, and they couldn't sort of get away from her. I made sure there's plenty of um, sort of a small sort of shallow dish with some water in there in case she was dehydrated. Um, also went to Wales, I visited the spider shop, didn't end up doing any filming there, which is what I went there for, but never mind. Still a huge thank you to Lee and everyone at the bar shop for having me and being so welcoming. I guess I had quite a lot of fun there, even though I was working. So, yeah, good laugh. Um, and yeah, I got back and she died. So, yeah, that's kind of rubbish. Uh, I guess the only thing to really do with it now is just sort of wait for the Uthika to hatch. So it's sort of like a bit of good news, a bit of bad news but uh, I thought I'd do this very quick update for you. But of course, as soon as the Uther catches, I will do a video, I will try and capture it. If I can get that emerging, that'd be pretty awesome. And of course, I will share with you all the, uh, the updates on that when I get them. So only a very quick video today, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Of course, if you'd like to support me, please check out the description for links. And as always, thank you for watching, take care, and I'll see you all soon in the next video.